Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on how to use Microsoft Copilot at Simply Learn. In this video, we are going to dive into the powerful features of Microsoft Copilot within Excel, Microsoft Word and PPT and also to understand how it can be used in Teams. We are going to take a sales data and we are going to do the analysis of that data. We are going to visualize, generate trends and make smarter decisions within just few prompts with the help of Microsoft Copilot. So guys, watch this video till the end if you want to make your work easier by incorporating Microsoft Copilot in your day-to-day -day work. Just a quick info guys, Simply Learn has got generative AI courses. You can unlock the future of AI with the top rated Gen AI courses. You can elevate your creative capabilities with our highly acclaimed generative AI courses. Dive into AI-driven innovation, explore key concepts like generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, Microsoft Copilot, and many more. With this course, you are going to acquire a cutting-edge knowledge to gain competitive edge and advance your career in the evolving AI landscape. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So guys, let us start our tutorial on how to use Microsoft Copilot. So, while installing or enabling Microsoft Copilot, the first basic thing which you can do all over here that you can go to your settings okay and you can look for update all over here so just go on to windows update and if you are like uh, any update is pending on your system then up check for updates click on it and it's going to tell you a lot of the updates and when you update it you can see copilot will be there in the system and you can enable that now in this tutorial, we'll be using what things we can do with Microsoft Copilot. So let me open my Copilot all over here. So since I'm using Copilot for work, so I'll just right click all over here and you can see it is going to open a new window all over here in this Edge browser. So you can see this tab on Copilot right down here. Okay. Now let me tell you what exactly is Microsoft Copilot. Microsoft Copilot is an AI powered assistant which is integrated across various Microsoft products, which is designed to enhance productivity and creativity by assisting with tasks such as drafting a content, analyzing data, and providing contextual information. Now you'll be wondering what are the key features. The key features is, you can see all over here, that it can be integrated with Microsoft 365 apps, such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlooks, and Teams, which enables users to draft documents create presentations, analyze data, and manage emails more efficiently. The next thing is Copilot in Microsoft Edge. So you can see all over here. In the Edge browser, Copilot also offers AI-driven assistance, providing summarized information and facilitating complex searches directly within the browsing experience. Now, Copilot mobile app is also available for iOS and Android devices. The Copilot mobile app allows users to perform tasks such as conversational searches, image creation, and text generation, and many more. Now, there are certain things that while getting started with Copilot, as I've told you, you need to go and search your Copilot. If the app is not present, you need to update it. There is another way of installing using Wipe tool. So you can look the installation process of these things. Now, let's get started. So, you can see all over here, there is apps. Just click on an app. Okay, suppose I want to work on the app, Word document. So, let us open a blank document all over here. And let's say I have given a task of writing a report on, say, digital transformation. So, just click on the new chat. So, I'll write. So you can see all over here, Copilot has given us these title to document for the impact of future digital transformation. So I asked Copilot to draft a document. Now you can see all over here, what you can do, you have to do nothing. You have to just copy this and you can just paste all over here. So you would see like how easily our document has been occupied or populated with Copilot's help. Now, let us ask Copilot to summarize the text. So I will go right all the way here and ask, summarize this text. So 
So you can see all over here for the same topic digital transformation, it has summarized it. Now you can just copy the same thing and paste all over here. So you can see how our uh, way of writing a document has simplified very much. Now, like uh, I can also ask to rewrite and edit suggestions. Suppose if I have a text that feels too complex, I could ask Copilot to write in, in a simpler language. So you can say, please, or say write in simpler language, which is understandable. So you can see all over here, Copilot has started giving me in a more simpler way. And I could just copy this all over here and just click everything. And you can see now the language has become much more you know, simpler. So these are the certain things which you can do with the documentation. Now, let us proceed for the next task. So we'll open our app. It's called Lexin. Okay. So, so I have this sheet. Okay which I have downloaded right now. So let me show you. Now, what we are going to do right now, that we are going to upload an Excel data and we are going to try the data analysis for that sheet and get certain insights. So you can see all over here, we can add file with this. So we have the sample sales data. Let's open and uh, let me write a prompt for the same. So let's say get uh, data insights from this. Let's type the command. Suppose uh, this is a sales sheet. Okay. So get data insights where I want the copilot to highlight the data range and what are the key trends. In the sales data. Now we shall wait for the response. Now you can see all over here, uh, Copilot has given this. It has told that and I've analyzed the sales data you have provided. Here are certain insights, total records 10. What are the regions covered? North America, Europe, Asia. These are the kind of products that they have. And these are the date ranges. Key metrics, which the uh, analysis is going on, the units sold, total revenue, profit, and data ranges from 15 January to the latest 15th May 2024. Now you can see all over here that started giving the key insights for the given product. So product A sold consistently across region. It has highest sales in North America, Asia. Then you can see for product B, it has a strong performance in Europe. And similarly, it has given for product C. For the detailed insights, uh, and trends to new Excel. So it has told us to download this. Now let us see this Excel file. Now you can see how it, it has given the analysis all over here. And uh, so you can see in North America, the product A is there. And similarly, this has given this. And for the data insights, you can see it has also created for count, unique, top, frequency, median, and all this in just few seconds. And it has also forecasted the sales trend. So units sold, revenue, profit. So in this way, the data analysis, like it's it's giving such a wonderful tool and it has reduced so much of work, you know, which we have to do manually. Now I can also ask Copilot to create visualization, generate chart, showing sales growth. Now let us ask Copilot to create a chart showcasing quarterly sales growth. So let us type all over here. So guys, you can see all over here, Copilot has started executing it. It might take some time. So you can see all over here, it has given the quarterly sales growth in a you know, uh, it's, it has also created a chart all over here. You can also ask Copilot to integrate this chart into the Excel sheet, which you have 
provided. Uh, it will take more compute time, but uh, you can see it has also given the key observation. So for those guys who are into the domain of data analysis or you know or as a BI developer or into business intelligence role, using Copilot can be very effective in your job. Now let's move on to the next thing what we can do. So you can also use Copilot to create PPTs and also write emails. So let me just ask Copilot, hey, can you create a digital product transformation template PPT and uh, for three slides with an amazing theme. So you can see all over here, it has created this PPT. Now let us see how our PPT is. So let us open this. So you can see all over here, it has not added any themes, but uh, it has given a certain outline. You can ask again Copilot that add infographics and theme to this PPT. Let us see how Copilot responds. Now let us open this. I hope so certain modification would have happened, but you can see it's, it's still under, it's not giving that much of a good quality PPTs, but you can see, you can use it for mild purposes and you can take certain ideas like what you need to add into PPT and you can customize this. But you can see the output is not so uh, satisfactory. For PPT purposes, I would say you can use uh, Microsoft Copilot for certain things, but cannot be entirely depend on it. Uh, so it might not give you the exact idea which you are thinking about. The next thing, very amazing uh, feature of Copilot is integration with Teams. So suppose you had a meeting, a uh, product meeting today, and uh, you need to capture the main points of the meeting discussed. So you can use Copilot for the same to capture the meeting summary. So after a meeting, ask Copilot in Teams, okay, integrate with that, summarize the key discussion points and action items, okay. Then you can also generate the follow-up task. You can ask Copilot to create a list of follow-up tasks. And you can also compose messages to communicate decisions, type, and announce a decision on the project timeline. So now there are certain tips I would like to give you on maximizing the use of Copilot. The first one is be specific with your prompts. The clearer you are with your request, the more relevant Copilot suggestion will be. You can edit suggestion. You can use Copilot as a starting point. Personalize the content to fit your style. You can explore customization. You can try different prompts to see how Copilot adapts and tests its capabilities across various applications. So guys, with these examples, you can see how Copilot can enhance productivity, save time, and streamline processes across Microsoft suite of tools. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video on how to use Microsoft Copilot. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.